altered metabolic energy pathways associated with cancer. In general, glycolysis is increased in cancer and this causes tumor cells to import glucose for glycolysis. The objective of glycolysis is to provide energy for the cancer cell and there is evidence that glycolysis is likely an adaptation to hypoxic or lack of adequate oxygenation and lack of alkalinity of the tumor cell. In other words, if there is an acidic environmental cellular terrain, glycolysis will be activated and import more glucose. If there is less glucose available, then this slows down or stops this cancer growth process. Cancer cells know what they need to proliferate, for example, glycolysis confers a significant growth advantage by producing the metabolites needed for cancer cells to grow. Glycolysis is a process that breaks down glucose and produces two ATP, two NAD and two pyruvate compounds. What happens to pyruvate in cancer cells depends on a variety of factors including oxygen supply and the stage of the cancer growth. Tumor glycolysis metabolism results in an increased acidic environment from the production of lactic acid that is toxic to most cell types but is tolerated by the tumor cell. When lactic acid is released by the tumor, the acidic environment promotes tumor proliferation and invasion to healthy cells through degradation of the extracellular matrix and promotion of new blood formation in a process called angiogenesis. Glucose metabolism through glycolysis generates the nutrients needed for amino acids, nucleotides, and lipids that are used for proliferating tumor cells. Glycolysis creates a continuous pool of pyruvate that can be converted to acetyl-co-bipyruvate dehydrogenase and acetyl-co. Increased levels of fatty acids have been observed early in cancer progression, increased in breast cancer and during cancer cell proliferation. The NADF that is required for fatty acid synthesis is produced by increased glutaminolysis and upregulation of the pentose phosphate pathway in cancer cells. Studies have shown that the PPP is upregulated during glycolysis to produce nucleotides for RNA synthesis and increased glutaminolysis occurs in proliferating cells like tumor cells. Glutamine is an amino acid and glutaminolysis provides tumor cells with another source of energy when glycolysis energy production is not sufficient. Glutamine degradation products are used for low oxygen state metabolic pathways. In addition, glucose and glutamine can both be metabolized to nucleic acids, amino acids and lipids that are needed for cell proliferation. There is increased synthesis of amino acids, nucleotides and lipids that are needed for tumor proliferation. There is also other metabolites have been reported. I am interested in this process to find breath and other biomarkers to find out more of what is going on with cancer and each person's metabolic state. There are metabolic profiling studies that have looked at urinary levels of nucleosides as biomarkers of cancer in leukemia, breast cancer, colon cancer and liver cancer.